255.0 then default router and give the gateway gateway is our router interface IP so 50.1 okay this is the VLAN 50 configuration is done now we need to do the same thing for VLAN 60 so I will write here VLAN 60 I will write IP address 192.168.60.0 give space 255.255.255.0 Okay, again I done the same mistake. I should not write the IP address. This is network. I am doing the DSCP configuration. Okay, network and then default gateway we will give as a 60.1. Okay, so DSCP configuration is also done. Now what you will do, you will write IP DSCP exclude IP. You will exclude the IP, whatever IP you don't want the DSCP server to give to your client you can put here I am giving till 10 okay exclude this and same thing for VLAN 60 also so I will do here for VLAN 60 <coughs> I save the configuration now we can test and then I will copy paste in the notepad so let's see here VLAN 50 is getting the IP or not I will put in the DSCP yeah, we are getting 50.1 that is good and let's see here also you are getting 15.11 and 12 let's see here VLAN 60 is also working and you can check the VLAN 60 yeah so now to 60.12 so you can try to access that let's see it is working or not 60.12 so in the browser we will go i will type here 192.168.60.12 and press enter okay so it is working different vlan is working and also if you remember we told some ip here for this server sorry this one to 20.2 so we can check here from this side 20.2 is also working 20.2 20.2 or 12 i think 20. Dot, what is here 20.12 so let's see 20.12 i want to 192 168 20.12 yeah it is working so i can ping the server from this branch also means i can access the web services this is a web services if you want to ping you can ping also and you can check also i will go here and we can ping also first you can check your ip so ip config to check your ip this is your ip address this is your gateway this sorry this is your subnet mask this is the ip address this is the subnet mask this is your gateway now you want to ping that so ping 192.168.20.12 this server you are pinging and reply is coming so this one is good uh, this r3 configuration is also done what else you want to check you can check the routes are coming or not here right show ip root okay you can see routes are coming here with the ospf this all routes are coming from ospf and l is nothing but connected you can see this is the code here you have the code l means local c means connected and O means OSPF. You are receiving this route from the OSPF. What else you need? You want to filter, you can write show IP OSPF interface brief just to check whatever interface are in the OSPF. So these are the interface in OSPF. F0 by 0. I am inside the router 3. This is the router 3. This interface F0 by 0, F0 by 1 and this is the sub interface which we put that one is coming here okay priority you have one and area zero you have okay what else you can check show ip root and you can put ospf so you will get only ospf root so ospf is working perfectly still we did not configure this one r4 we need to configure once we configure r4 then it will be finished we can use okay and now example if you have different area you can use the different area also example here this uh, f0 by 1 i am saying i can make this in area 1 also as i told here let me put here let's try this one i put in area 0 okay but this color is why coming black 
or let me remove this color first of all remove this color okay so now i can say here i can put some light color <laughs> i can say this is the area 1 imagine this is in the area 1 so where the configuration will change i am in the r3 r3 this sub interface wherever you created the sub interface there only configuration will change i am in the r3 okay i did not write the configuration here so let me write the configuration here i will change this i will write no shirt then after that i will write interface f1/0 okay and then encapsulation let me copy paste the command here what we done here before this one where we are here first one we can say for vlan 50 and second one we have for vlan other vlan let me put here here i can say dot 50 and same thing i can copy and i can paste here this one you can say this is a dot 60 and here you will put 60 so what we done here just and we need to put the ip i will write ip address we put here 192.168.50.1 give space 255.255.255.0 this is the ip we assign here and no need to write no shirt already we make that interface up and here will be 60 and also dscp configuration we done so we need to do that one also where it is this one i can say this is a dscp configuration and here network command i will give where it is here and gateway this is for vlan 50 i done so now i can do same thing for vlan 60 so i can paste here i done already just i am putting here so you can get this notepad also so okay we have we done the configuration now we need to enable the ospf so this one f1 by 0 so here you will put this and you will copy this and you will paste here and this play